I'm a hood nigga, so hot Cheetos all I snack on. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what it do. Assalamu alaikum peeps, this is your boy Musa Azakar. Do me a favor, like this video, share, and subscribe to my channel. It's an icon, notification icon there at the bottom. You play it, you be um, that would. every time I drop some bangers or drop some heat or drop any type of content, you will be notified. Yes, you would be. Well, today's subject of what I have to talk about, uh, I had it this morning, but I had to get ready for work, and I was up and out, up and out, and it, I really couldn't uh, convey it like I wanted to, but I'm going to do it correctly right now. Um, yes, it, the video was concerning uh, DJ Vlad, and he's taking major heat for this, the bullshit he's spitting that reparations should be... Uh, uh, in the form of free education. What good is this goddamn education in the motherfucking way? What good is a piece of paper that ain't even, it ain't even worth the piece of paper breaking on? It ain't shit. Just being real with you. And that's a slap in the face. And brothers, leave this motherfucker alone. Stop going there for interviews. Go to your other brother's uh, platform. Get them up. Don't go to this devil right man. This is a devil. Devil. Devil Vlad. Devil Vlad, that's what he is. But uh, yeah, I got some uh, content from the viral hip hop news that they keep me informed of a whole bunch of shit. I'm gonna chime in, but I'm gonna let them uh, do that thing. So uh, for no further ado, we're gonna let the mic do what it do. Yeah, man. Well, it it is, that it was a lot of guys. Somebody wouldn't go through college in that time. But anyway, man. Anyway, speaking of college, man. DJ Vlad, DJ Vlad left this statement on this YouTube, on this community tab the other day, and it elicited a lot of responses from people. Actually, it was his Twitter, my bad. He said, I fully support reparations for African Americans, possibly in the form of free college tuition. Now, right underneath that, somebody named Antonio Moore put, this country owes us north of $7 trillion. A free education isn't reparations. Oh, right. And, you know, when you told me about this, Sam, man, we immediately started going in and just throwing shit up there. And we kind of looked at Vlad out of one eye. Now, we, we all stoked that you support this shit, but just fucking free college education? Speak on that, Sam, man. Um, it just goes to show you how blind he still truly is to this shit. Because he meant what the fuck he said. Yeah. Yeah, blind. We talked about this. Yeah. <laughs> we, um... He meant what he said, and this is how blind and ignorant he is to certain situations. When you look at the horrors and the, the decades upon decades and hundreds of years this continued to go on of murder, rape, molestation, yeah. enslavement, free labor. Mm -hmm. And then you talk about after the thirteenth Amendment Amendment, free labor in the in the penitentiary and prison system, Jim Crow, uh the police brutality, the list goes on and on. And you call free education <laughs> enough? Enough? What about banks? What about hospitals? What about supermarkets? Yeah. What about fucking hospitals? I'll let you kind of elaborate more on what you were talking about. But if you got to, for somebody like you, and we're going to dig this down, we're going to peel this back layer by layer, but to have such a staple on the culture as you do, as much as we want to sit back and get mad at it or whatever. When you look at hip hop and you look at hip hop interviews and you look at your celebrities, one of the main people you look at is Vlad. Get them all. Yeah. Man, you know what I call that? You know, our brothers always say, uh, white ice is better than black ice. I call that white ice. Same goddamn thing, but it's produced by a white man. I'm going to get more props for it. That's just some bullshit, brothers. Damn. Come on now. And for you to have this kind of stamp in a culture that you're so heavily involved in, and for you not to call yourself a culture vulture, but to make a statement like this, you sound exactly like a culture vulture. Yeah, and it's like, that's all. I mean, it, it is really sad to see that statement come out there. And he meant that. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. It's hard, but it's like, when you look at, maybe he just, he's entering into the history of, uh, you know, black Americans and African Americans in the United States of America. No, he is not ignorant. To know history. Now they try to 
cover shit up. But they are not ignorant. But you're talking about an upward of three to four hundred years of free labor, you know, um, you know, land stolen, language stolen, people killed, atrocities, you know, done that you go into the trillions of dollars, free education ain't fucking cutting it. You're talking about we need, you know, uh, money, you know, back. And not only, you know, all the way dating back to, you know, that's why it's ironically records are now destroyed now because we have gone through so much in this country and not been, you know, um, to this point really given anything for it. I think that it's just, you know, he's not the one, obviously, to even be uttering this because, I mean... Our families, we understand that we have a history. They go back, you know, probably most times to slavery and a lot of people in this country. You can't just tell me, oh, a free education. No, how about a percentage of the wealth of the country since the country was built on the black backs of our people, period. Every, every, even, even, oh, not even just the country, all over the world. It's this book called Black Labor, White Wealth, but it's another book. I forget the name of it. It's a real small book and it goes back and it shows you, at least in America, you know, the inception of, you know, how this country was actually built and how it started with different, you know, um, products like tobacco then oil and then cotton, you know, back then, even the cotton industry alone, how they exploited us in that. You can't even, I mean, you're talking about, again, trillions, probably hundreds of trillions of dollars worth of wealth that is owed to black Americans. So, I mean, if you want to start that conversation, man, you got to just, you got to, like, again, you said colleges, institutions, banks percentage of the wealth, money. I mean, we can go all the way down the line. Education would be a, por- a portion of free education, but I mean, it, it's so much more that, you know, we'll have to go into that basket, man. I, you know, that is crazy. And, and people, <laughs> white people in particular, would have to be willing to have a conversation that they haven't been willing to have in a very long time. Mm. And that's just the, the atrocities that have happened in this country pertaining to white and black people oppression and white privilege has a lot to do with the hatred and the mistreatment and disgusting manner in which their ancestors, not closely removed from where we are right now, yes, sir. were bred on, were raised on, were taught on, and it was taught and, and, and just bred to be absolutely vile to a particular race. I remember when you said cotton gin, it reminded me of going to North Carolina with our grandparents. And I remember a grandma telling us, well, we were driving through Seaboard. And she was like, this is where my mom used to pick cotton. And I'm staring and it was mm-hmm. cotton. And her grandmother. So this would be our great, great grandmother. And Seaboard, North Carolina now, as we grow on, I didn't think of it at the time we were young. All right, so while we were about to pick cotton, who was picking cotton? Like, damn, our great, great grandma was a slave. Right. Our great, great grandfather was a slave. That's not too far removed. Right. Because it's if right. you date back further and further, our lineage doesn't, that's about what we know. Yeah, yeah. And that's a shame, man. They, they owe us way more than a college education. If you don't realize that, okay, you made a mistake, but you need to really take the time to educate yourself, especially the person you are in hip hop. It's fucked up if you don't. And you need to be called out on it. Right. If you don't. And, and you know, you have instances. I know people will say they're going to talk about Rosewood and other instances where reparations were paid to certain families of certain atrocities that happened. And we look at the numbers. I won't say it was adequate, but there were reparations paid. But as far as African Americans or blacks, whatever label they put on us as a whole, we haven't had, you know, um, any substantial uh, conversation or really even a payout, you know, um, that would, you know, pretty much fulfill what we're looking for as a people. We haven't had that yet. So until we do, we know other races of people that did and they're still getting them to this day in a form of different things. You know, even if you look at um, Jewish people. They got something, and one of the main things is our anti-defamation league where, you know, if you talk out or say something, you know, about them, you're going to be dealt with swiftly. Things like that we need to put in place, you know, for African-Americans, a.k.a. blacks, again, whatever you want to call us. So we got a long way to go before we can get some, you know, um, real change in this country. I don't know if it's going to happen, but if you ask the question, do we deserve it? I'm definitely going to say hell yeah, and free education definitely wouldn't be enough, man. That is so true. I can't believe dude fixed that to come out of his damn mouth. Free education. Whoa. That is an arrogant thing to say and just leave it at that. Or could it be taken out of context? I doubt it. I doubt it. 
You know, it is what it is. People are going to show you their colors. They real colors. Was he drunk? No, he probably had to be drunk to say that shit. So messed up, man. It's just messed up. It just ain't right. It just ain't right. Man, this motherfucker gonna talk about education should be equivalent to uh, 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 reparations. Man, this mm -mm. brothers, y'all ain't really need to leave this motherfucker alone. Don't go to none of his interviews. I don't care about how much he. Oh, you can get this much exposure, man, dude. Fuck you. You disrespect the hell out of my peoples with that bullshit jargon you talking about. Talking some bullshit. But yeah, this is your boy Musa, man. Like the video, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. YouTube be tripping, man. I mean, they don't want no brother to get no type of knowledge or anything. They want you to be just uh, functional illiterates. Functional illiterates. <laughs> With peace and a bottle of haggis, people. I'm out.